Crystal Thompson here for Scrapbook Cards Today. Today we're creating a fun powder paper set of cards and you're going to be using just very simple supplies. We're going to use Hero Arts Greetings. This is a 3x4 stamp set. We're going to use the free cake, I mean happy birthday, along with so many candles, so little cake. For our pattern paper, we're using Create Paper Hooray Collection. We're using two pieces of pattern cardstock and I'm going to show you how to trim this. You're also going to be needing for your ink colors, you're going to be using Knight of Navy by stamping up along with Crush Curry. And to finish up, you're going to need two pieces of cardstock. I'm using Nina White 110 pound or your regular card base. So let's get started. All right, guys, to create this card, I have my pattern paper. And what I like to do is use my card base or my card panel. So I'm going to measure out and I have pre-cut this to be just a quarter of an inch smaller and that way you have an edge. Then I'm going to create a strip and I want to cut that. So I have marked with my pencil where that's going to go and I'm going to use my stamp set to make sure that I leave enough room. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this with my trimmer. I'm going to bring in my trimmer. I'm going to start at the top and this is going to be the first step. So this is going to be the actual card. So we, here we go, here's the panel. Now we're going to trim the edges. And that way you have that angled look. And you can make it as slanted or not. So it just depends on your preference. I'm going to take that out. And try to keep it even in this part of the uh, trimming. That way your sentiment will fit. So again, you can bring it over, say, yeah, that's going to fit. And then just trim it. Okay. Now we have our two pieces. And we are ready to assemble our card. So I'm going to come in and I felt that the crush curry would be the best one for this. So I have my card panel, my card base, whichever you prefer to work with. I like to use card panels and then attach them to my card bases. I feel like it wastes less paper, makes it a lot thicker, and overall just a happier uh, card for me. So it's just my opinion, you could do it whichever way you like, and don't stress about it. Card making is supposed to be fun. All right, I am not gonna attach that. I'm gonna grab my ink. I'm gonna ink this up. And again, this is Crushed Curry from Stamping Up. And I'm gonna use this as a ruler. Be careful not to stamp on your powdered paper. You would remove it, rock your stamp just a little bit, and now you have a beautiful clear image. All right, now we're gonna start attaching our card panel. So I have a piece of rolled foam, and I'm gonna put the foam behind my patterned paper. So this is just gonna give it some dimension, and it's gonna raise it just a little bit. I'm going to place it up. We're going to remove the backing. And then we are going to place this on our card. And because you use it as a ruler, you know that it's going to fit perfectly. And don't press down until you are completely happy with your layout. And then we're going to go ahead and place this second piece. All right, friends, so we have that ready to go. We have the foam adhesive placed under our other piece of pattern paper. So again, just try to uh, match those lines and then put it where you would like. All right, friends, so we have placed our panel on top and it is ready to go. You can embellish. We're gonna make a second card very quickly, show you how easy it is. Again, we're gonna be using Crate Papers Hooray and I have my two pieces with the foam adhesive on the back. We are gonna move this guy, get our Knight of Navy. Again, this is from Stamping Up. And for our next sentiment, it's gonna be so many candles, so little cake. So we're gonna ink that up. Again, we're gonna use this as our base because I already have my foam adhesive on the back. I suggest that you don't place it down. You just kind of measure where you're gonna place it as your ruler. Be careful not to ink up your pattern paper. We're going to rock this just a little bit. We have a perfect image and then we're going to go ahead and place that pattern paper. We're going to move on to the second piece and we're going to add that again. Depending on how much of that edging you want to show, you can trim 
the top for a little more or additional trimming. And that does it. Look at these cards. Super easy way to use your pattern papers. This collection is from Crate Paper and we're using Stamping Up Inks. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial. Be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and stay tuned for more. Thanks so much.